Hello there, you are listening to the Babe You've Got This podcast where you'll receive mindset and business coaching designed for the everyday gal who has big goals and dreams and is craving that guidance, insight and reaffirmation for creating success in her life. This episode is number two where you are introduced to the beautiful Olivia Plunkett who I talked about in episode number one. This absolutely amazing babe will be joining us a lot as we grow our impact with this podcast. I'm so excited to have her on today and for you to get to know her more and learn how this 22 year old business owner has come from the darkest space to now having a purpose and mission to create an incredible impact within her community and inspire thousands of women's, women with her business and products. So just a reminder to hit subscribe so you are always in the loop when a new episode drops. We are so grateful that we can give you this time and content as you listen today. And remember to leave a heart review and five sparkly stars. By this process, you are contributing to our bigger vision and impact of inspiring and helping women just like you to grow their success and themselves and their mindset too. Don't forget to leave your Instagram handle so we can give you a shout out and recognize you for your greatness. All right, let's get started. Hello, hello. We have Olivia on the line. Can you, can you hear us, Olivia? Are you there? Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be on this podcast today and share with you all a little bit about myself. Oh, guys, like I've known Olivia, we've been friends now for, what is it, two and a half years? I and think I'm, so, yeah. Yeah, and it's honestly been, it feels like a lifetime. It honestly feels like a lifetime. Um, and it's so crazy because we have a six year age difference, but it honestly feels like there's no age difference at all. Um, I, I met Olivia. It was actually like a, it was random. It was extremely random, but I definitely believe in divine timing. So it wasn't random, I guess, in that sense. And we connected so much because, um, as I mentioned in my first episode, that we are so similar. Um, as much as we are different, we are so, so similar. And we both have a massive hunger to grow ourselves and to create success and just create like more choices and significance in our life. So I've had the pleasure of working alongside Olivia and we've just like, we wanted to create something like this podcast to share our journey, right? Because I know you, Olivia, just in two and a half years, well, pretty much let's write off the first year. It's pretty much in the last year and a half where so much has changed for you. So Let's start there. Well, let's start before that. Before that year and a half ago, Mark, where things just started to click and transform, tell me, like, what what was life like? Where were you at? I've already talked a little bit about how you um, it was your mindset that you were struggling with and that was putting you in this really dark space. So can you can you chat a bit about that and paint a bit of a picture for us? Yeah, so before I kind of really started to find myself I guess and see what I am really capable of I was actually in a really really dark place um I suffered with mental health I was severely depressed and with that came um this the horrible self-harm that I went through as well um and yeah like Kim said I was super super um in such a horrible mindset um every every day that I woke up I just I really couldn't see how I was gonna get out of bed and do the daily things that you need to do to survive I didn't know how I was going to um um follow all my dreams of all these amazing things that I knew that I wanted to do but I just had no idea how to get there as I felt like I had no self-worth I felt like I wasn't capable of great things I felt like I was lonely and the only one that was going through these things I felt like I was just not good enough at the end of the day and when I was going through this and feeling like it like it really did for me feel like like everything everything was the end I felt like I couldn't get to where I wanted to get to and I just felt 
so miserable in myself because I knew that I was letting myself down every day that I felt that way. Um, and it, it really was the darkest part of my life. Um, but in saying that, I am super, super, 100% grateful for the dark times that I had because they, without those things, I would not be able to share this story with you guys today and inspire people that are suffering with mental health issues or, um, or no self-worth yeah. kind of things. So yeah. No, I love that because like, the reality is that every single, one in three women suffer from anxiety. I know that fact straight off the bat. Um, so many of us have mental health, uh, I guess we call them mental health issues, but I don't like saying that it's an issue. It's just, an, maybe we can say an imbalance, right? A mental health imbalance. There's a distortion. Um, we're either in a stuck of, in place, stuck, it's stuck in a place. <laughs> I already disclaimed it in my first episode that my grammar is terrible. Um, we're stuck in a place where there's either a shit ton of fear and anxiety and stress, or there's that deep, deep hole that we just feel like we're right at the bottom and we can't even see the light when we look up. That's how deep we feel we are. So just to get a paint a bit more of an image, like when did you feel like what age did you feel like you became conscious and you understood, well, you, you knew that you were having these depressed emotions and sensations and you just knew, like, let us know when it was. And even if you could, do you remember, was there any day that you can actually think of, like how a day would pan out for you? Do you can you remember the thoughts you'd wake up with, what you had to make yourself do to get out of bed if you got out of bed? Could you take us through a little day in the life of um, the old Olivia back when you were struggling? Yeah, so I think the age that I probably, like I couldn't say for sure, but from memory, because it really does feel like a lifetime ago that I felt this way. But from memory, I think it didn't really hit me that all these things were happening till I kind of left school. So around the 18, 19 mark, um, because you kind of just um, make this story up in your head. Well, for me anyway, I was like, oh, it's just the stresses of school. It's just because um, I'm, I don't have any real friends that I fully connect with, or I kind of just made that the reason why I was feeling this way. But when I left school and realized that things were still happening and things were actually getting worse, I realized, well, I've actually got a problem not a problem here. I've got an, I've got an imbalance here and there's something that needs, I need to work on. Um, but yeah, I didn't know how, but I would probably say 18, 19 is when things hit me really hard. And I think a lot of girls can relate to that. Um, and like, if we are going to go, like, I just want to give like a little disclaimer. If, if I can go into what a day in the life of Olivia looks like back then, because it, when I think about it is, is actually things that I do find hard to share because I've kind of put all of those things to the back of my head, not to think about because they were horrible things. And when I think of them, I was like, Oh my God, Olivia, you were in such a bad place, like a really bad place. So I just want to do a little disclaimer that if this does affect someone or make you feel quite upset that we are here to talk to you if you do need help or anything like that, because Plus, we are going to share, just to interrupt, we are going to, like, we might be starting with the negative stuff, but if you stay listening, do not finish, like, make sure you finish out this podcast because we're going to share with you that turnaround point and how some things and some, some tools and strategies that you can actually do to start getting out of that dark space. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that to in case someone stops listening halfway through and you need to finish this podcast. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kim. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so what the thoughts and the things that would kind of, um, what I could kind of feel back then was I would literally wake up not knowing how the day is going to go. I would always start my day with horrible thoughts, something along the line as you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not skinny enough, you're too ugly, you're too fat. Why would anyone love you or want to appreciate you if you don't even love yourself, Olivia? I would often look in the mirror and just, just hate what I saw. Like I had no 
just no love for myself and like it does make me emotional when I think about it because I'm like oh how did I get how did I let myself get in a place that was so horrible and just yeah just really really horrible so I um I really did have no love for myself I um it got so bad that I did actually I self-harmed often I would often um cut my legs and um around my neck as well um so that is how bad it kind of got for me because I just thought the only way that I can deal with this pain is to hurt my body and yeah so that was like what a day really looked like for me um and also because I was going to school and when it kind of started and then after school obviously I would often fake it so good like no one knew that what I was going through I no one knew from school everyone thought that I was this happy little thing that just loved my life and I would just I would just fake it like I don't even know how and it was I would make other people laugh all the time and make other people feel happy because I think I truly couldn't feel happy within myself um and that's what my days my weeks my months often looked like um yeah I think that's yeah pretty much sums up that okay I don't know if anyone's listening got goosebumps or got that lump in the throat but <laughs> I'm like holding back crying just so I can talk Whew, all right heavy stuff but thank you for sharing that because I know that was hard well yeah challenging right um and yeah guys like I started to really get the tingles and realize you know, so many of us just do not believe that we are worthy inside of us. And we're always trying to look for something external to pump us up, to lift us up. And we never feel fulfilled or like we're growing or having success because the, it's looking for something on the outside, looking for, like, I haven't, I haven't got the worthiness within me. I'm just going to fake it. Um, hopefully one day something will happen. I can't wait to get out of this feeling. Is It's just looking for that instant gratification when at the end of the day, it comes from within, right? It comes from within. So this is where we're going to like um, go now with this with this message that we're sharing with you guys. It's, it's, it doesn't have to be that way. If you can relate to any of Olivia's story, it doesn't have to be that way at all and the most beautiful thing is that you actually have the power within you to change to make the transformation to get out of that hole to get out of that darkness so um olivia when when was it that you realized or i know you just said you kind of you knew you didn't want to be there but it was so easy to stay in that darkness right and to be honest guys and this might tr trigger a few people but olivia and i have both learned this that it's so easy to stay in a dark space because there's a part of us that enjoys it. And I say enjoy it because it's a comfort zone. We're so used to being there. It seems harder to make the transformation and it seems easier to stay in the darkness. So that's what I meant. I just wanted to clarify. Um, so yeah, Olivia, when was it? When was that? Term? I know it was about a year and a half ago. So we've already established that. So what was it a year and a half ago when you actually fucking put the line in the sand? You drew the line in the sand and you put the stake in the ground. Um, and and from that, just elaborate on what are some of the things that you've done and what's helped you to kind of get to where you are now? Because it's always going to be, guys. I've talked about this all the time. It's an ongoing journey. It's never about you finally reached a destination. It's not about the destination. The destination is the journey because, you know, human, I'm tangenting a bit, but human, like the happiness, human beings' happiness comes from growth. If we're not growing, we're stagnant and we get stale and like the darkness creeps in. So with that said, Olivia, yeah, so t tell us, elaborate how you've been able to, you know, find the light, love who you are, you know, go within. I feel like this is such a hard question to answer because there's like so much I've got to say about it. But when I really drew the line in the sand and decided enough was enough was because I knew deep down 
every day I could feel it in my heart that I was not living the life that I wanted to live. And like Kim said before, it is so easy to stay in that position that you're in because it's the only way that you know. And, and yeah, like people give you all this love because they know that you're struggling and it feels good when you get that love, but really it's not the love that you're chasing. The love that you're chasing is love from yourself. So yeah, I just, I really knew that I wanted more. I wanted more um, career-wise, financial-wise, relationship-wise, um, myself. And I, was, I had no freaking idea how I was going to change. Like absolutely no idea. I just knew that I had to do something with my mindset and my outlook on life and how I felt about myself because I didn't want to be 10 years from now 20 years from now an adult or possibly with kids and still hating myself like I didn't want that life for me um so I think the biggest thing I kind of did was surround myself with people like Kim people that uplift you people that know you are worth more and kind of teach you how to love yourself more and slowly and slowly over time you start to realize that you know what I do actually love myself. Um, I am worthy of anything I want. Um, and you and really just, I just had to change the fact that I needed to start believing in myself that like literally I can do anything that I want. I just have to truly, truly believe it. And it doesn't matter what anyone else says. Um, yeah. And, and then that's kind of when I've, I started to realize the whole babe you've got this because it's so it's so true like literally I even say to myself babe you have got this yeah. and those words I know those words to Kim and myself mean so much to us because we have been through the dark point and we know that we've fucking got this excuse my language um don't worry, the yeah. listeners know, the listeners know we have potty mouths, we have terrible grammar and we just speak truth bombs. So it's all good. Yep. Just truth bombs, left, right and centre. Well, so what was it? Just, um, I love this, right? And so, and I know there's so many people listening, thinking like, cool, you've realised it's enough is enough. But what are the things that you actually did? What are the physical steps and what is the action that you took people need these tools people need these strategies to actually get to that space where now loving yourself and just to paint you guys a picture it was two and a half years ago that olivia started her own business but it wasn't until a year and a half ago so it was a year in the first half we can kind of write off it was more um you're still learning you still we weren't really taking action on it but you you wanted to join something that's gonna you knew that was going to push you and grow you but it's the last year and a half. And guys, we're going to plug the amazing business that Olivia is a part of. So it's the Wellness Girl Co, which I'm so proud to be aligned with as well. It is seriously making such a ripple effect and transformation in so many women's lives. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's when you, you kind of, you join the Wellness Girl Co and then a year and a half ago, you took it seriously. So what is it about having your own business your own online business and what came with it for you to fully fucking believe that you are enough and that you are worthy um i think there's the biggest things for me and like this this the wellness girl Co has absolutely transformed my life obviously and i've done things every day to make sure that i don't go back to my old ways and i just keep loving and believing in myself but really for me like it's literally these three things like and I focus on it every single day is my nutrition my movement and my mindset they are really important things to me and I do feel like that they are the things that have really helped me go from the dark place to where I am now um, because it's all just everything I did was baby steps like baby steps baby steps on um, growing my um, nutrition, my movement and my mindset because I feel like they do really work together in creating the lifestyle that I live now. Um, plus, like, I really changed the people that I started to hang around with 
um, with the Wellness Girl Co, there is this incredible community that comes with it. And there is literally babes lifting you up, uh, holding your hand and helping you really with anything that you want to do in your life, which is really, really cool. Um, and things that if you guys want to know, literally things that I did every day to change my mindset, I started to do things like make a daily routine. So I would have daily rituals, things that I would follow every single day without a doubt to make sure I could do the things like get out of bed, brush my teeth, get dressed. So it started really simple with something that I love and tell people all the time is I would start writing um, daily gratitude. So I'd have a, a gratitude journal and every morning I would um, write down what I'm grateful for in my life. And just doing that one little thing every day, it transformed my life because I realized everything that I already had is what I needed to go forward in the future. And it all came from within me. Yeah. 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 So that, yeah, I just can't, don't even have any words. Love it so, so much. So just to just summarize for you guys. So Olivia started, and I remember this, um, she started making, getting out of bed and just committing to the first couple of things that get your day started, right? It's baby, baby steps. Cause I know there's been days where I just don't want to get out of bed. I'm in bed for like hours and then you have to get out of bed. So you pull yourself out of bed and you don't even brush your teeth. And you're like, oh, I can't be bothered eating breakfast. And you chuck on some clothes and you look in the mirror, you feel shit. So you're like, oh, I can't even be bothered doing my hair. Or you go and put too much makeup. You overload your makeup just to make yourself feel better. And then you feel icky. So it's those little steps of get out of bed. When your alarm goes off, actually get the fuck up out of bed. Um, put on some clothes doing your gratitude and we're going to be talking about that in upcoming podcasts about the power of gratitude and how to do it right um, and how it actually works and then um what was it about oh sorry and then olivia talked about like movement nutrition and mindset and i know that some of the things were starting to add in some movement whether it was 10 minutes of exercise or you had time to do some exercise um nutrition feeding your body right eating lots of whole foods and like the mindset kind of fits in with the gratitude and whatnot. Just, we've got about five minutes left. So I would love for you to share, can you give us your best advice um, in like when it comes to exercise, what's your best bit of advice or one liner, um, same with nutrition and same with mindset. And I've got one more question after that. So just to give people what you did, the tools that you did, the lessons that you learned to help you like all these things is what's helped you overcome your depression. Oh, cannot hear you. You're muted. <laughs> Sorry. So I will start with nutrition. Um, number one baby step would be add in whole foods in your diet, in your day, wherever you can possible. Like literally baby steps. If it's throwing in, some carrots and you wouldn't normally add carrots or broccoli whatever it is it's so easy to do so so possible that's my number one baby step for nutrition um for movement i would say don't you don't have to have all the best active wear and all the best equipment if you want to go for a walk that counts go for a walk or if you um, love the ocean, go for a swim. That is a form of movement. Do something that you know in your heart you love to do that's, and that moves your body. For me, it would be going to the ocean and having a walk along the beach. That is just something that straight away makes my mind open and makes me feel good and I know I'm moving my body. And then for mindset, I would do... Um, definitely I'm really, really big on that gratitude guys, but also something that is a game changer for me is the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and look at yourself in that mirror, look at your eyes and say, whatever your name is, for example, for me, I would say Olivia Jane Plunkett, I fucking love you and you are going to have a great day. And if you say that consistently every single day, just watch your life change. Oh my gosh. I just got goosebumps again. Oh, I love that so much. It's such an easy task. And the tip, guys, you've got to make eye contact with yourself, as Olivia said. 
don't look away and say it say it to make it make that eye contact with yourself it's so isn't it isn't it crazy how li- so many little things are so powerful to transformation so olivia learned a lot of this stuff by starting her own online business and and being a part of the wellness girl co and what we do is what we get coached and mentored on how to grow our mindset right because in turn it grows a business so when it comes to the business side of things um can you give your what's what's your biggest or even if there's more than one biggest lesson that you've learned coming into this business about growing a business and creating creating those opportunities for your life and and that vision Oh, I don't know. There's so much. So business wise, for what I've learned, I would probably have to say, like, it, it seems really basic, but honestly, just learning to love myself. Like, honestly, I don't, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything that I have accomplished so far if I didn't learn to accept and love myself a hundred percent like I'm talking unconditionally and when you feel that everything in your life from your relationships to your business to anything you do in your life it just changes it's just incredible so feeling that unconditional love for yourself yeah I love that I really do and guys, you may have been waiting and be like, okay, yes, tell us the secret sauce. How did, <laughs> how did you grow? What's your best advice in growing business? And guys, when it, like Olivia's, her online business is friggin' thriving. Like it's amazing. Um, seeing where, how far you've come, like you inspire me every single day um, to, for me to keep going with my online business. And it's, it's <laughs> funny. Is it funny? I guess we're kind of laughing in a way because we think, we need to learn all the secrets and the how-to, but the how-to in this, in growing an online business is simple and all the answers are out there. All the, the one thing it is, it's ourselves, right? The one thing that gets in the way is ourselves and it is it's learning to love who we are and have full acceptance and know and, and learning to realise that we are worthy of whatever we want to create. That's the driver. That's what actually creates success in business. So I freaking love that. And guys, I want you to know if you're still listening and you're in a place of like, oh, but how? How am I going to learn to love myself? Well, this is why you're listening to this podcast. This is why you're listening to Babe, You've Got This. Um, Our intention is to help you see and feel that and know that love that you have for yourself within yourself. So once you get that handled, once you get that down packed, everything else just blossoms. Everything else just thrives and grows around you so we've got to start from within so you've got to stay listening to our message and the future podcasts to come because we want to help you and we we want to see you thrive and shine as well so all i can say is thank you so much olivia for sharing i know we have so much more goodness to give over the coming weeks and months and i was really and like i just you know want to honor you and recognize you for jumping on and sharing that story of yours because I know it was quite challenging <laughs> and I brought up a bit of emotion. Um, is there anything you would love to share as we wrap up this um, recording today? I just want to say I'm so grateful that I was able to give my time to you guys that are all listening and to you, Kim. I love working with you and I'm just super excited because we just get to, I'm excited to work with you guys, whoever's listening, like you're your journey and your vision is just beginning. So I'm so excited. Yeah. Love it. Yay. All right, guys. So um, thank you so much for joining us today and listening in. Remember, please, please, please leave your review. Um, Subscribe to us, share us, you know, screenshot, share us on your Instagram or your um, any other socials because um, we just need to get this message out there. And just from hearing this story, we know that, we can't be selfish with this information. We have to share it. We have to um, dis- distribute it and impact as many lives as we can. And by you subscribing and downloading um, these episodes and leaving a review, you're just have, making that one simple step to growing this, this mission and this impact. So, yay. I'm excited. All right. Well, 
enjoy the rest of your day or week, wherever you are, whatever time it is listening to this. And I'll chat to you guys. We'll chat to you guys again soon. See ya.